And today, our first speaker is Barbara Hogan. <laughs> Barbara was born in Boston, Massachusetts. She worked in hospital administration in Boston and New York City, and then migrated to California because she was never meant to be in a climate that dipped below 65 degrees. <laughs> She also worked as sales support in the computer industry and then transferred to one of her passions, human resources. Eventually, Barbara was asked to take over a private label Medicare supplement plan for the Memorial Care Hospitals and then franchised it to several Northern California hospitals. Barbara ended up starting her own business, now an S Corp, named Barbara Hogan Insurance Services. Her second and current business passion is assisting people turning 65 and through the wonderful world of Medicare, as well as helping current Medicare beneficiaries understand and select the insurance coverage best suited to their needs. Please welcome Barbara Hogan. Hi, first let me tell you my whys. They are my mom and my guy Wes. Whatever I do well, I do because of my mom. She was a very special lady born on 2 12, 12 who gifted me in so many ways. Unfortunately, when Sarah came to live with us, none of us knew she already had Alzheimer's, and so began my Medicare journey. The other is, why is my guy, Wes? Without him, we couldn't have taken care of Sarah for as long as we did. He is also my staunch supporter and the originator of, if you're alive in 65, you need me. <laughs> what I do is specialize in Medicare supplement policies, standalone drug plans, and Medicare HMO plans. The supplement policies range from the letters A to N, notice the love of the alphabet. In addition, this year there are 33 standalone drug plans and 25 Medicare HMO plans from which to pick and choose. Medicare and its options are complex. I help people who are turning 65 enter the wonderful world of Medicare, removing their confusion and concern about their options. First, I like to connect with people about four months prior to their 65th birthday to start to explain what Medicare Part A and Part B are, and how and when they should enroll. Not everyone's needs are the same, so while it might make sense for someone to activate their Part A hospitalization and Part B <coughs> outpatient services, for others it might be appropriate under Medicare rules to defer their Part B participation in premium. I also clarify for them the financial liability of being on Medicare only, and if of not signing up within the required timeline because there can be penalties. I educate your referrals on the how, the why, and the when of enrolling. When I meet with your referral, we discuss their specific medical, physician, hospital, and financial needs. Through this conversation, I am able to clarify their insurance selection options in a way that is understandable and start the process of breaking down the confusion of all the options available to them. Examples of what I uh, discussed with my clients initially are, are all your doctors in one medical group? What medical concerns do you have now? What medications do you take and what financial constraints do you have? With this information, I am able to guide and then enroll clients onto Medicare Supplement and Standalone Drug Plan or Medicare Advantage HMO with drug coverage. In some instances, I may recommend that the individual stay for now with their current employer plan or select their employer retirement plan. Since I represent numerous insurance carriers and products, I can offer choice to my clients. To do what I do, I am required each year to be recertified on Medicare and then to be recertified for each of the insurance carriers I represent. I stay on top of the Medicare enrollment guidelines and special enrollment options so that I can advise my clients on when they can do what. My services are free. I am commissioned by the insurance companies that I represent, and Medicare oversees those commissions, so there's no incentive to sign you up with one plan versus another. Please listen for people saying, Medicare is confusing. Confusing. I don't know uh, what to do. I don't know anything about Medicare. I'll be fine with Medicare only. No. Great referrals for me are people who are about to turn 65 years old, employer benefit companies that provide health benefit packages to small or large employers, HR professionals, CPAs, accountants, and financial planners, business, estate, and family law attorneys. Did 
Does anyone have any questions? See, I Whenever you do Medicare, yes. Um, if I know someone that's already on Medicare, are they able to make you their um, their agent for those questions? I mean, is that sure? Uh, we just finished a Medicare annual enrollment, which is October 15 to December 7, when all Medicare beneficiaries get the option to decide what they want to have as of January 1st. And so I did have people come to me and say, "Please help me! Please help me make the appropriate change." Mm -hmm. Anything else? Thank you very much.